again, my lovelies. I'm going to read another story. We're out in the garden today in the sunshine. It's nice and warm. I like the sunshine. Are you getting your daily exercise? Are you going out once a day to have a little walk in the sunshine? Should we ring the next, read the next book? This is Did You Swim Today, Oliver Otter? by Kate Veal. Shall we, re shall we read it? Here we go. Are you ready? Oliver Otter lived near the river at Sandy Hole. Every morning he put on his shiny red boots before climbing into the bath. Why do you put your boots on, Oliver? His mother would ask. Because I don't like getting my feet wet. Oh dear, she would sigh. How will you ever learn to swim? Look, there he is, having his bath. And he's got his welly boots on. Doesn't want to get his feet wet in the bath. But I think he's still going to get his feet wet, don't you? Definitely. Okay, let's go on to the next page. Do you like having your baths? Going to splash, splash, splash. splash with all the bubbles in the water. Okay. One night, Oliver's mother tucked him into bed and said, Sleep well, little one. Tomorrow we'll go down to the river. Oliver woke early because he was so excited. What's the river like? He called out. Follow us and you'll see, laughed his mum and dad. There he goes. He's got up bright and early. He's excited about his trip to the river. It's nice going to the river on a day out, isn't it? But that's where Oliver's got to learn to swim. They led the way out of the dim, sandy hole into the bright sunlight. There were lots of smells today, particularly from the cows in a nearby field. Here he comes. Out of his sandy hole, into the sunshine and the smelly cows. Woo! They ran down to the river bank. I'll go in first, said his dad. And you can jump in after me. I'm not going in there, Mum, gulped Oliver. It's too deep for my boots. Oh dear. He's afraid to have a swim. But he has to learn, doesn't he? Because he's an otter. An otter swim. That's a beautiful scenery. His mum hugged him. We can swim in together, she said. But as soon as they were in the water, Oliver climbed onto her head. I don't want to get my feet wet. Well, Oliver. Oh dear, sighed his mother. Whatever shall we do? Oh, there's Oliver, climbed on his mum's head because he didn't want to get his feet wet. Poor Oliver, he's got to learn sometime, hasn't he? All have to learn to swim, very important. So, out they climbed onto the riverbank and set off to the local shops. We'll find something to help you like the water, his dad said. At the shop, Oliver chose a big yellow rubber ring with ducklings, head and tail and orange feet, a yellow fishing net and some blue plastic sandals. Back they went to the river to try it again. So here they are, they walk into the shops They've gone to the shop, look at that lovely rubber ring they've got. It's a little ducky one. And he's got himself a fishing net as well. Hopefully that might help him be brave in the water. What do you think? Do you think he will? Watch me, said Oliver's dad. He dived off the highest part of the river bank and twisted and flipped and turned so much that he tied his tail into a knot. 
That is Dazzy's prize winning slipknot dive. Would you like to have a go? Not likely, said Oliver, thinking of how wet his feet would get. Look, there's Oliver's daddy doing the somersaults. Wow! I would love to do that. I don't think I'm that brave. Oliver's daddy is. Oliver still doesn't want to go in the water. He's still not brave enough yet. Instead, he put the rubber ring into the river and sat on it. And keeping his feet well out of the water, he paddled quickly up the river. That's not swimming, that's canoeing, laughed Oliver's mum. And they all went home to tea. The next day, Oliver woke even earlier. He put on his blue plastic sandals, picked up his lucky duckling, the net and a jam jar, and tipped out of Sandy Hole to go down to the river by himself. Today I'll try getting my feet a little bit wet, thought Oliver. So there's Oliver. He's in the river canoeing on his rubber ducky. And there he is sneaking out, going down to the river by himself. Shouldn't do that, should he? Go on his own without his mummy and daddy. He ran down to the bank and to the river and paddled carefully through the shallows, fishing around in the weed with his new net. All of a sudden, a slimy creature stuck its head out of the net. Oliver got a fright. Oh, shouted Oliver, it's a dinosaur. No, I'm not a dinosaur. I'm a newt and my name is Trevelyan said the proud newt. Look, there's Trevelyan the newt. <laughs> Isn't he cute? He's not scary at all, is he? Oh, good, said Oliver. He thought the dinosaurs could be dangerous. And then he added, My name's Oliver Otter, and I have to go home now. Would you like to come with me too? Yes, please, said Trevelyan. Oliver put him into the jam jar so that Trevelyan could poke his head out and talk as they went along their way. There they are. And Trevelyan's in the jam jar. Can you see him? <laughs> On the way home, Oliver asked if Trevelyan liked swimming. I'd love it, said Trevelyan, and I love the river. We can play there every day. They arrived at Sandy Hole just as Oliver's parents were getting up. Oliver only had time to put Trevelyan under the bed and pull the covers over himself before his mother came into his room. Ah, oh, she said horrified when she saw Trevelyan. It's a dinosaur. No, said Oliver proudly. It's a newt. He's called Trevelyan and he's my friend and he's going to help me learn to swim. Every day after that, Oliver stuck his head out of Sandy Hole, sniffed the air and ran off down the hill with Trevelyan to the river. Look, Mummy got a fright. Didn't really do a fright noise, did I? But she went, ah, when she saw the newt thinking it was a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, it's a friendly little newt. Every evening when they got home, Oliver's mum and dad asked, did you swim today? No, Oliver would reply, but I caught a fish. Or, no, but, but Tre Trevelyan nearly got eaten by a duck. Or, no, but we found a frog. There, there's, oh, there's Oliver's mum and daddy asking him if he swam today. And there's the frog. And there's the duck. Oh. But at least Trevelyan wasn't dead, was he? The duck didn't get him. No. Then one day, Oliver stuck his head out of the tunnel and sniffed. A cold, white flake got up his nose. 
He sneezed. <coughs> Instead of being green, the fields were white. It's snow, exclaimed Trevelyan, and my tail has frozen. Oliver got a hot water bottle, half filled it with water and put Trevelyan, Trevelyan in it so that his towel could keep warm. Soon he felt warmer. Let's go sledging, suggested Trevelyan. Don't go too fast, warned Oliver's mum. There they are, going out in the snow. They're going to go sledging. Wow, look at all the snow. It's covered everything. All the green bushes have turned to white. I like snow. You like snow. They fetched Lucky Duckling to use as a sledge and Oliver held on to the neck. Trevelyan gasped and held on to Oliver's hat. They tied the hot water bottle to the Lucky Duckling's tail and off they went. The hill from Sandy Hole to the river was very steep and Lucky Duckling sledge went very, very fast. Faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. And faster and faster and faster until oh, look there goes the sledge very fast what do you think happened next it's going down to the it's going down the hill to the river what do you think is going to happen oh. Ooh. splash they went over the river over the river bank with a double somersault into the river. Oliver laughed and swam to the shore. Trevelyan was speechless with surprise. You swam, said Trevelyan. Did I? said Oliver in amazement. Yes, and Trevelyan danced a little celebration jig. Yes, you, you did, you swam, you swam. They sledged all day until evening and when, when they went home, Oliver's mum and dad asked, did you swim today? Look, there they go, falling into the river. And then there they are, playing all day, sledging in the snow. <laughs> so what do you think Oliver answered to his mum and dad when they said, did you swim today? What do you think they said? He said, yes, said Oliver. And it was so cold and I'm really looking forward to a deep warm bath with lots of bubbles because I love getting wet. The end. There you go, he's having his nice warm bath after being out in the cold snow. So now he can swim. He's a happy Oliver. And you learn to swim. See you soon. Bye bye my lovelies. Mwah. Love you.